What's going on everybody? Welcome to the image processing with Python. In this series, we will learn how to implement image enhancement techniques, morphological operations and some techniques for binarization too. For this series, you will need OpenCV, NumPy and Matplotlib. If there is an additional requirement, we'll inform you about it. We'll also implement the same algorithms in MATLAB platform if you are not comfortable with Python. So the most basic thing while starting the image processing is histogram. So generally, image has the pixel value 0 to 255. 0 means black pixel and 255 means white pixel. So histogram is a graphical representation of pixel. It plots number of pixel for each value. So suppose here we have 3 cross 3 image with pixel value 0 to 3. Now if I want to make histogram, it will be look like this. So at the value 0, I will count total 0 in image and plot it. So as you can see here, there are total 2 0. So I will draw a bar with height 2 at position 0. We will repeat the same process for value 1, 2 and 3. Now let's implement the code. So first open the ID. And import cv2 numpy and matplotlib.pyplot. Here I am going to use flower image. So let's first read the image and the resolution of image is very high. So we need to resize it. So I am using resize command to resize it and I am defining a width 800 pixel and height 600 pixel. So now let's see how it looks like. Here weight key 0 means whenever I press the 0 all the window will be closed. So you can see here our input image. Now let's see the shape of our image but first comment the about two line and here I'm using dot shape method and also on comment the print and run the code. So as you can see here there are total 600 rows, 800 columns and 3 channels meaning it's a RGB image. You can find histogram of all 3 channels by splitting it. I'll show you this in upcoming videos. But here first convert the image into a binary. So here I am using convert color method and BGR to gray parameter. Now let's see how our binary image look like. So let's run the code. So this is our binary image. Now let's manipulate the contrast and the brightness of the image. For that we will use convert scale ABS. For original image alpha value is 1 and beta value is 0. Alpha represent the contrast so let's set it to 1.10 and beta represent the brightness so let's set it to minus 20 because I want to increase the number of the black pixels and I want to means darken the image. So now let's see what image look like after and before. Uh, here we go. You can observe the difference clearly. So the dark part is more dark and the white part is more white. So we'll observe this in histogram. I'll show you later. So now let's dive into a main part. So first close these both windows. So let's first make the numpy array of zeros. So here we have total 256 values of pixel 0 to 255. So right. So I have set a shape 256 cross 1. So now let's print this array. So here you can observe that there are total 256 zero field rows. Now our image is 2D right. So if you want to go to each and every pixel we will need a row value and the column value. So we will need two for loop for that. One for the row and one for the column. So here we have total 600 rows and 800 columns. So in general term here we write S0 and S1. So that's why we have defined S before. Now read the pixel value from the image and store it in any variable. So here it is K. So suppose at 0, 0 position the pixel value is 0. So we will store 1 at the 0th position in our array H. Now suppose 0, 1 position there is other 0. So we have to write 2 at 0th position in H, right? So we will read the kth position value from array H every time and add 1 in it. 
and we'll repeat this whole process for each and every pixel value of image. Let's print the edge to have more clear idea about it. So you can see here total number of value for each and every pixel. Now we have RF number of pixel for each value. So it's time to plot it. So simply write plt dot plot edge and plt dot show. So here you can see that histogram of our image. You can observe here a spike near to zero uh, due to a large number of black pixel in our image. That's all for this video. Next, we will learn how to equalize and stretch the histogram. And don't forget to check out the same algorithm in MATLAB. You can always learn more by exploring more. And please subscribe and share this channel. And if you have any doubts, mail us or write in comment section. We will try our best to give you solution. Thank you so much.